row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yes, we'll all go bye-bye when this is all over, okay? Can you go swimming. swimming this summer with your brother and sister? Uh, we just talked to one of the doctors who said that uh, they went and are harvesting the organs from the donor as we speak and that everything so far looks good, like it's going to actually happen. So we have a little bit more time to contemplate everything. But right now I'm pretty much my mind's with the donor family and can't imagine what they're going through. through. Um, saying thank you doesn't seem like it's good enough. Uh, such a selfless act that they're doing in their darkest hour, I, I can't imagine it. But we're very, very thankful. This is what we're this is what we're hoping for for other families as well. And even if it doesn't work for Matthew, we know that another family will benefit from this. It's still hard to wrap my mind around the thought that it actually is Matthew's turn. It's been so many times we've been down this road, but we've never been this far. So we're very hopeful. Scared also, very scared of, of the whole procedure and everything that's gonna be done to our little guy. It's very scary, but we have faith in in the doctors, we have faith in Matthew, and and we have faith in God that it'll it'll be okay. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Get your whole family, huh? Yeah, Mama, come. Mama, yeah, come. When I walked into the OR to bring Matthew in, it was overwhelming feeling of fear. I was scared of what to expect. The first thing I saw was the liver that they were working on and I wasn't expecting to see that. It was very odd thinking that part of that is going to be in my son. The next thing I thought of was just trying to calm him and comfort him. Okay, so I think it's time for you to go. When we were first able to go inside the ICU and see him, it was just like they said, he was intubated. He had tubes coming out from all over his body. And uh, it was a scary sight, but all those machines are there helping his little body and, and keeping him going. And uh, we were able to kiss him and touch him and tell him how much we love him and how brave he is. So it was scary, but it was still very special. We really needed that. We needed to see that he was, he was there and he made it through the surgery. We're tired, but we're doing good. We have had lots of support from friends and family and complete total strangers. It's been remarkable. We're really blessed to have this opportunity to share Matthew's story and every aspect of it. And hopefully other people could benefit from it, learn from it. That's what we're hoping for. And of course, ultimately, we, we need more people to become organ donors and understand the need for it. We want them to see this side of what happens in our story. Mm -hmm.